But yeah, this right here is where they really, they really like to get. Whew. All right, y'all. Made it down here to the water. Um, today, we're looking for bluegill on the main lake. Um, today, I'm at Lake Grapevine. This is uh, this little area right here I've done pretty good at uh, for bluegill. There's a, uh, there's a log over here in the water. And the, the bluegill to me just get all, for me, get all around it. And so that's what we're going to do. The lake is really, really low. I don't know if y'all can tell really how low it is, but it's, uh, it's dropping. So we're going to get over here and see what we can catch, get rigged up. I'll show you the rig and then hopefully get to catch some bluegill. So let's see. All right. So this is the rig. I just got a little bobber up top, 16th ounce weight, and then a little perch hook right here. I'm going to actually make this really, really shallow because I uh, I just know this lake's low and it can't be very deep right there. Just going to use a uh, Berkeley Gulp uh, earthworms and let's see. We uh, we're about to have some sun pop through, so hopefully we can catch some fish pretty quick right here, but. Kind of stand in the water that water's surprisingly cool right now but see that was not a good cast but we'll work with it these fish are usually pretty close to this uh stump right here it's gonna be interesting to see because it's really low usually you can barely see that stump but uh, today you can see the whole thing there's something right here in front of me is that a bluegill? I mean, this is super shallow right here. I can see bottom pretty far out there. A little closer. Don't know if they'd be here today because that water's so low. Maybe they're. Maybe they got. They're pushing out. I don't know, but we'll see. I'm gonna walk down just a little further, see if I can get a little better angle on them. I mean, I'm st I'm standing in about I should be standing in about two foot of water right here. <laughs> it's uh, pretty low. Oh, there's one, right where they usually are. Isn't that funny? These guys right here are not gonna be giants, but you know you can still catch some fish and have a good time in the summer. Um, uh, with no boat, you know, you just kind of have to walk a little bit more, um, explore a little bit more, but, oh, I think I already got a bite right there. You can still have a good time from the bank. Yep, one got me. All right, so maybe they're still, they're going to be where they usually are. Should be really, really nice. Cause it's hot you guys it's supposed to be a hundred and something a day i really would like to not have to walk a whole bunch if i can help it especially with this sun getting ready to pop out but it's not a good cast but it doesn't matter Oop, one bit it okay so they might have just slid out a little bit to the left over here where it's a little deeper good zone right there yep super fun pretty pretty fish see you later bud there he goes he's darting off we can get a hopefully we can get some good sized ones over here today oh I did it something's flopping over here in this cove so these bluegill, um, I see them on the main lake everywhere as well. Like uh, they get in with the brush piles and stuff like that with the crappie, but there's always some shallow like this. And they are very similar to crappie in the fact that they'll, they'll get around cover. Whether it's a stump, rock, stuff like that. 
It's kind of they're they're very very similar in that aspect. It's funny too, like they that turtle's coming out there for that bobber. It's so funny they'll they'll get a lot like crappie too, where if you get too far away from them, you can forget it. A little better. Biting it kind of weird. Should have probably put this weight down a little bit because it's gonna try and tangle on me, but it's uh it's all good. Okay. Trying to get some different content for you guys because trust me, I know that crappie deal gets boring in the summer boat live scope just gets repetitive but now that I uh, have time I'm gonna try and mix it up for y'all try and keep that content coming oh man did y'all see that bobber move four or five inches just then I'm gonna actually stand out here a little bit oh, it's a lot cooler out here <laughs> Shad in here. Yeah, they're definitely a little bit left, a little deeper than they usually are. Just because that water's so low. Look at that pretty fish. He just gave up on me. Oh, settle down, bud. Look at how pretty that bluegill is. We're going to let him go, or her. There it goes. Ooh, that whole bobber went under the water. How that fish did not get hooked is beyond me, but pulled the whole thing under the water. That guy took off sideways. He came off. That was funny. Make it. Ooh, there we go. Look at that cast. Yeah, I bit it. That was a good cast. Probably won't be able to do that again, though. <laughs> oh, two for two. And it produces a fish. Oh, little guy. I know there's going to be... Oh, he slung my worm. Ah, the little ones are hard to handle. But uh, I know there's going to be some better size ones over here somewhere. Just got to find them. Put this worm on here and hook it a couple times. Maybe a bigger profile of them. Draw in a better fish. And it's getting bit. I'm just so quick to set the hook. But it's getting bit every cast over there on the other side. Oh, the whole bobber shook. It's so funny, if you weight this wrong, it's gonna tangle on you like this. And of course I weighted it wrong. Let's see. I'll be able to get it out or not. Okay. Try on the front side of this? I don't really know at this point. Oh, there's one. Huh. I didn't even feel that one bite it. On the 
front side. There's really not any cover. See you later. Wade back out here to my spot and see if catch a couple more fish. Look at this guy. <laughs> Monster. Definitely consider, I guess, what we're doing today micro fishing. See you later, man. That's bad. Yep, I knew that was bad as soon as it happened. All right, y'all, well, we broke off. I'm not gonna retie. I mean, it's pretty slow over here today, to be honest, but still caught several bluegill um, on the main lake. So this, like I said, this is where you look for back of coves, stumps, rocks, stuff like that, a couple foot of water in the back of coves. That's really all you gotta do to find these bluegill in the summertime. So hope you all enjoy. Next time you're out at your lake, go give it a shot. You know, get some, get an ultralight set up. Uh, b and m sam super sensitive it really is a good setup for this and uh, light line little hooks little bobbers little weights and just get you some berkeley gulp worms that's all you need so hope you all enjoyed don't forget to subscribe if you haven't hit that notification bell you guys i'm really trying to grow the channel um i'm trying to grow it the right way so if y'all could please subscribe if you're watching this and uh or if you know someone who's interested in this kind of type of content you know let them know about the channel i sure would appreciate it and yeah i mean we're we got big plans for the winter fall um, as soon as it gets here i'll be i'm ready already to get out there and make it happen so catch you guys in the next one y'all take it easy